and welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow. Last time we took on the Meridian City Gem after we took on the Cinnabar Island Gem. The Cinnabar Island Gem being its own episode and the Meridian City Gem being its last one. In this episode we are going to adventure forth. And now that we have all its badges on, on us, we are going to take on the Elite Four. So let's head on over there. And... Uh, 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 Pokemon. Before we do that, we're gonna take a slight detour to see what this guy has to offer. Uh, oh yeah, he gives. I think he gives you sleep. No. What is this? Dream Eater? I think it's Dream Eater. Uh, let's check that out really quick. If it is Dream Eater, then it's kind of not really useful for us. Yep, it's Dream Eater. Okay. Um. Now that we've gone that out of the way, let's continue on. Sorry about that. Um, so yes, I have Noodle out in the front right now, because I can. So, over here is where the... Actually, isn't this where we caught... Yeah, this is where we caught Elvis, wasn't it? It's either this route or the... Ah, of course. I found a Pokemon, because why not? This may actually be where we found Elvis, which would be kind of cool. No reality. Reality. Um, so let's go on and find our rival, apparently. Uh, really? Is it, surpri is it really that surprising to see me here? Yes, I'm going to the Pokemon League, and yes, I have all the badges. What? No! Haven't you forgotten? Uh, you've already forgotten that I have beaten you every time you fought me so far. Except for maybe in the beginning, I may have actually lost that one. But aside from that one! I don't actually remember if I lost that one or not. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, he's leading off with a sand slash. And we're gonna sit through these very slow- Oh! Only two times. Cool. Got it. So, hopefully Surf will knock it out in one shot. Cause I don't think sand slash is that but Yeah, it's not. Okay, cool. I was gonna say it doesn't have that high of a special stat. Execute is coming out next. I'm going to send... Squid out because Squid hasn't really got a lot of action as well as danger as of late. So we're gonna try and be using those two a bit more frequently. So of course I'm gonna use Fly because it's super effective. And there it was about to use Leech Seed, but it failed because I feel high and I got a critical hit. Woo! Yay for crits! Magneton is out next. Of course we're going to send Elvis out because duh. It's, a, it's an electric type. Its stab moves cannot hurt us. And our stab move hurts them. It just makes so much... Like, okay, I'm not worried about this fight at all. I have counters for all except for one of his Pokemon. Which, it's not out yet. Um, who do I want to send out? Who do I want to send out against this? Uh, I guess I'll keep... Elvis out for now. I mean, I probably should have switched because I think he is the highest level out of any of our Pokemon at the moment, so... Probably would have been a better idea to send Noodle out. Actually, no. No. Elvis is indeed a good choice because Nan does not is not physically bulky. This is the Pokemon I have no counter for! I guess Pillow is our best bet because we have Amnesia. And what's up with the level 50 Psychic types as of late? Seriously, all of Sabrina's Pokemon were Psychic types, and they were, well, of course, they're Psychic types. She's the Psychic type generator, but they were all level 50. It was a level 50 Abra, a level 50 Kadabra, and a level 50 Alakazam, which we somehow took out with danger. Yeah, uh, I think I'll use one more Amnesia just to have a full thing set up. And I don't think Kadabra gets any moves to raise its special stats, so... Hopefully Blizzard would do a lot of damage right here. Oh yeah, it knocked it out! Cool! Yeah, Pillow can be quite a danger to Pokemon. Especially, like, Psychic types. Because it can just build up. Wait, I thought he had a Fiero. I must replace that. They can just build up amnesias for days and take no damage. And that's 
beautiful. That's not beautiful, though. Um, it's gone. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, keep using acid armor. See how far that gets you. Spoiler alert! It won't! What, what? A regular potion! A regular potion on your level 53 Pokemon! What the heck? What the actual- What?! <laughs> ah, that's amazing! That's- that's hilarious! That's very amusing! Yeah! Coming from the guy who used a potion on his level 53 Pokemon. SOMEONE'S A GENIUS! I'm not ready. Oh man, that's just- that's just way too great. I am so glad I have that on footage. On, uh, I have that. So here we have... The only instance of this in all of Pokemon history, exception Fire and, and Leaf Green. Where this, where this comes up again. We have to pass by eight people! Who, who all say, oh! You have this badge? Go on through! Yeah. Also, it's kind of weird. There's a path leading this way. Oh wait, there is something this way. What? Why would you go that way when you can just... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can only pass by here if you have the rainbow badge. But inter interestingly enough, you have to have the... Uh, what is it? This badge right here. The soul badge. Nope, not that badge. That badge? That badge. Yeah. No? This badge. Yeah, the marsh- No? I'm confused. Just, the badge you get from Kogo, whichever that one is, I- I forget. I think that might actually be the soul badge. The marsh badge is the one you get from Sabrina. I think. I don't know. Volcano badge. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Uh, I believe you want to go over this way. Yeah. You can actually find Pokemon on this route, and they're actually decently leveled. Uh, you would find them over to the, to the right of here. So here, we have Victory Road. I hope you like Zelda-like puzzles where you have to push blocks, or in this case, borders. You're not the Pokemon who has the move I want to use. You are. Actually, before I forget really quick. Super Repel. So, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go through... Of course. Of course I find a Pokemon after using a Super Repel. Why would I not find a Pokemon after using a Super Repel? Ugh. Yeah, Harden against a special attacker. That's going to get you so far. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing I did back in, uh, the Pokemon Mansion. Uh, I'm just gonna cut out all the wild, all the random encounters I find. Which is why I'm not doing right now, because I might find another one soon. So if I do find any more, they will, be, they will be cut out. And, yeah, so. The entirety of this dungeon is just pushing borders. And that is the puzzle. That's right. All the way back in... What was it? Which which city was that? Fuchsia. All the way back in Fuchsia City. Strength. They thought may have been a required TM. Not required. An optional HM is required for the final dungeon. Also, I'm going to avoid all... Actually, I want to go over there and get the items. I'm going to avoid all the trainers I can, but any that I do wind up bumping into, I will actually show. So, this is a really interesting. You have a choice right here of which of these two items you want. I will be going back through Victory Road after this video, getting uh, 
the other item, as well as another thing. So I got TM43 right, right there. I forget what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's very useful. Okay, it's actually very useful. It's Sky Attack. It's basically the, uh... Flying type version equivalent of a solar beam. Which takes two, two turns to charge up. And on the second turn, it, well, it takes one turn to charge up. So the, the turn you use it, you're charging. The next turn, you actually use the move. Uh. I've used strength again. And I believe it actually has a high chance of critical hitting. So that's the thing. No, it's flinching. It has a chance to flinch. That's right. It doesn't have a high crit ratio. It's a high flinch ratio. So, yeah. That's Sky Attack. It actually gets to be really useful uh, in later generations. Uh, I think specifically Generation 3, when the Power Herb is a thing. So any Pokemon that can learn Fly Attack via Level Up. Oh, there's a there's fight right there. Uh, Sky Attack becomes very useful. It's the final test for trainers! Or, some people might say it's the final countdown. Got uh, hands on the button! There we go. I'm a choke! Uh, I, I was gonna say a thing there, but like, I don't wanna curse. Like, I may curse on occasion, but like, I tend not to in casual conversation, but if I'm surprised, I will actually let out the occasional, God dang! But yeah. Um, cause that might be more fun to not curse, but to censor yourself. So, we have three Pokemon here that can take down fighting types, no problem. However, I want to give more focus on Squid right here. Because, New York has been getting a lot of attention lately, so I think it's time to give Squid some much needed attention and love and time in the spotlight. So here we're gonna have Squid take it down this other Machoke. And hopefully this... Okay, I get why trainers will try and use focus energy. But for those of you who actually know the mechanics of this game, know that focus energy is broken and it actually reduces your chances. I've brought this up several times. Why do you keep using it? You've already used it once, it fails any other time you use it! Why? I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway. Oh yeah! See that thing right there? It's actually turned away from us at the moment, I think. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be a reason why I'm coming back to Victory Road in the next episode. Yes, that's right, we are not tackling the Elite Four right away. We are going to be doing optional things! <sighs> ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh! Noodle is trying to learn Amnesia! This is a super useful move for Noodle. In fact, I think I'm actually going to get rid of Seismic Toss for it because... Well, yes, Seismic Toss is good for a Pokemon that I can't do a lot of damage to. Amnesia! You guys know what Amnesia does. So I don't need to justify getting rid of Seismic Toss for freaking Amnesia on a special attacker. Haha, <laughs> yes! Yeah, and that encounter, I found a, a Graviter, knocked it out using Noodle, because the reason why Noodle is out in front is because the majority of the Pokemon you're going to find in the Victory Road are Rock Ground types. So, Graviters, Onyxes, and all, the, and all that kind of Pokemon. Um... And Noodle Surf takes one turn to, to use. So it's kind of super, super useful for this case right now. Uh, TM17, where are you? Submission. Uh, base 80 power fighting type move they take recoil from. So it's a fighting type equivalent of takedown. Uh, actually, I need to go up right here. Because there's the thing we want. I think I'm pushing this way. Let me see if that's correct. Yes, indeed I do, but not for the reason I thought. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to push that border all, all the way over there. 
Uh, but first, another freaking TM! We've got nothing but TM so far in, in the victory road. Oh, and apparently I'm full here. We got explosion! We can make things go boom. However, the only Pokemon on our team that can learn it is excellent. Which, it's not very useful for excellent, so, no. Actually, I believe t Explosion gets taken away as a TM for uh, Generations 2 and 3, but gets brought back in in Generation 4. Where is it? Pushing borders is so much fun because apparently, apparently the ultimate test for all heroes is puzzles where you push things. Look at Link. What are a lot of his? What are a lot of his puzzles? Pushing blocks. What am I doing right now? Pushing a border. And the weird thing is, in every generation of Pokemon, except for 5 and 6, no, maybe even in 6, strength is a required TM to beat the game. Yes. In generations 1, 2, 3, and 4, you do indeed need strength to beat the game. Otherwise, no. I missed. There we go. And now I need to find the other border, which I think is actually over here. Actually, I've only fought one trainer so far. Watch that have to fight a trainer down here. Uh, actually, I don't think I need to. Yeah, that guy didn't seem to be cool. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is the border. Yeah, there we go. That was the border we needed to push. Surprisingly, I've been finding Pokemon after I finish sentences, so it's not that big of a deal. I need to use Strength 1 again. I am so glad they fixed this in Generation 2. We can just press A on the border and use them and have the option to use the move right away as opposed to having to as opposed to having to go into your inventory and into your Pokemonness and having to select strength from the Pokemon that can use strength. Pushing borders. That's just. Uh, uh. I repeat myself for emphasis. Emphasis! Props to those who get that reference. Oh hey, we're here at the end of the Victory Road. Cool. So! Actually, I think you can actually fight Pokemon on this route. I, I say route, but it's really not a route. In this case, too. Oh, it's also kind of a maze. But not really that much of a maze. Yeah, that's the maze. Here we go. At the Indigo Plateau! I will see you guys in the next episode, where we tackle on side things! Yay!